All right, so this president of president elect of Senegal just made a speech in English, and his English was actually very surprising. So I'll be playing the video and what he spoke. So before then, don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to follow if you are not following. Alright, so let's move to the video and hear what he spoke about and read his English for me. Let's go. It is high time for France to lift its knee off our neck and put an end to this unjust oppression. Centuries of misery, human trafficking, colonization and neocolonization have caused immeasurable suffering. It's time to put an end to this cycle of oppression. It's high time for France to leave us alone. <laughs> it's time for France to take a cue from its European neighbors oh. and learn a valuable lesson in independence. Germany is the leading economic power in Europe, okay. significantly surpassing France, wow. which is ranked as the third or fourth largest economic power globally. Germany does not exploit any country, any colony, I can mention Italy, I can mention Spain, wow. who had colonies before, but who do not exploit anyone, who do not interfere, who do not impose leaders in their former colonies. On what grounds does France believe it can continue to impose leaders on us and make choices on our behalf? This must come to an end. And the emerging Africa, the African youth, the African elites, and the African diaspora all stand united in saying no, it cannot continue any longer. France's hypocrisy is evident and pervasive in daily life. Let's examine the cases of Mali and Chad as prime examples of this hypocrisy. In Chad, where the constitutional process has been interrupted, France applauded and its president visited to officially consecrate the new king's coronation ceremony. In Mali, where it is not the constitutional process that has been interrupted, but the transition process, France has condemned and even packed up its things to say that it is leaving Mali. Wow. That's hypocrisy. <laughs> it's the double standard. It is the double language that France employs in its dealings with Africa. During our questioning of Mr. Jean-Yves Le Drian regarding the situation in Ivory Coast and France's decision to allow a third term, he provided a clear explanation. He stated that while he accepted the third term for Ouattara, he refuses it for Belarus. He emphasized that France has condemned the situation in Belarus and has actively encouraged the European Union to do the same. Le Drian explains that in Belarus, millions protested, unlike Ivory Coast, where there were no mass demonstrations on the streets. This is how France deals with African issues. All right, so we are going to, we are going to stop there. So we'll go and look for this video and watch the complete clip and the things he emphasized. What he's saying, is this the truth? You are the judge, you always know what is right. But I think his English, by my observation, his English was good. It's actually very surprising that uh, people from Senegal can actually speak good and accurate English. Yeah, we always know that they, are, uh, they speak French. So, don't forget, share this video, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.